I'm only human. <laughs> I hey, we're back. Woman. We're part two, and she wants to keep on singing. <laughs> Show me today. <laughs> I miss my uh, dad. <laughs> uh, I like this girl. It's like fighting and violence and something and crime. Lord, for my Pushing sake, and me. teach me to take one, one day, day at a time. time. Guilt offering, Leviticus chapter 5, verse 14 is where we continue on. The Lord said to Moses, when a person commits a violation and sins unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, he is to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect and of proper value in silver, according to the sanctuary shekel. We have never heard anything about the sanctuary shekel yet. I wonder where we find that out. A sanctuary shekel is a special one. It is a guilt offering. He must make restitution for what he has failed to do in regard to the holy things. Add a fifth of the value to that and give it all to the priest, who will make atonement for him with the ram as a guilt offering, and he will be forgiven. If a person sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though he does not know it, he is guilty and will be held responsible. He is, to be, he is to bring to the priest as a guilt offering a ram from the flock, one without defect and a proper value. In this way, the priest will make atonement for him for the wrong he has committed unintentionally, and he will be forgiven. It is a guilt offering. He, it has, he has been guilty of wrongdoing against the Lord. Is that the end of this? And reading? that's the end of chapter. You know, really, five. there's a scripture that says, All men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. When you look at this, where even if you walk, step on something unclean, and lots of things were considered unclean, like bugs and snakes and certain animals. Yeah. Or if you touch something that's dead, you're you're guilty of a sin. Mm. Like in, in in the hospital ministries, you know, when people are doctors and nurses and stuff and like they're in the line of duty if you're in war suddenly you're unclean so I could see why that scripture says all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that's why they need a, a redeemer well we'll find out more about the redeemer later okay where are we reading now nice we're in Matthew, Matthew chapter 24 mm -hmm. verses 29 to 34 Pretty sure that's what it says, 35, no, 29 to 51. There you go. That's the end of the chapter. There you go, that makes it easy. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. She was saying it was her turn to read. So. It is. Um, That'd be fair, you know. When the stars fall, does that mean like movie stars? <laughs> No. Does that mean like satellites or actually planets? No, planets. The solar system. Oh, scary. At that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. Like just before that, yesterday we read about, you know, if they say he's in a building, don't look for him. If they say he's on a mountain, don't look for him or in the wilderness because... When he comes, everyone's going to see him, and it's going to be so quickly, it's going to be like lightning flashing. So when and that happens, it's it. going to be a powerful lightning flash because people are going to mourn. And everyone will see and it. And everyone will see it. Verse 31, And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all of these things, and I think what he's talking about is what we read about yesterday, like the uh, wars and rumors of war and family members turning against each, each, each other and people who were children of faith being uh, like wrongly accused or persecuted. So when you see all these things happening, he says, now learn a lesson from the fig tree. As soon as the twig turns tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. I tell you the truth, this generation that you see it in uh, will...
will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Wow. And then we're reading from verse... Verse 36. And it's called the day and the hour unknown. No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, meaning himself, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. Mm -hmm. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the handmill. One will be taken and the other left. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time the night of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let, him, let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because of the Son of Man will come in an hour when you do not expect him. Hmm. Okay, verse 45. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom the master has put in charge of his servant in his household to give them their food at the appropriate time? It will be good for that servant whose master finds him doing so when he returns. I tell you the truth, he will put him in charge of all his possessions. But suppose that servant is wicked and says to himself, my master is staying away a long time. And he then be begins to beat his fellow servants uh, and to eat and drink with drunkenness, with drunkards. The master of the servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he is not aware of. He will cut him to pieces and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Sounds like a terrible place. He's going to get cut to pieces and then put in that place with weeping and gnashing. Mm. Ooh. Pretty gory, eh? The Bible's pretty gory. <laughs> it's kind of like X-rated, not, not fit for children. It's a lot of blood. I mean, yeah. you had to ever see it. If you were a visual person like I am, <laughs> and you're like reading it and seeing like looks blood squirting everywhere. Animals getting their neck cut open and drained, blood on your hands and your clothes and on the altar, and getting cut to pieces for being wicked. She's uh, visualizing this because I had a deer once and my friend came down and uh -huh. we, we hung it up. Well, and you we tell the deer it. story. I'm going to look for that song. And, and he, my friend came down and he was right in there. Well, he was. She, he was loving it. He was just covered with blood. And she remembers seeing that, so yeah. that's why she's remembering the visual. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is, while Linda's looking for the songbook, I'm going to close in prayer. Gracious God in heaven, once again we thank you for your awesome blessings that you bestow upon us. You are such a good God. Thank you for giving us your word. Even though, Lord, we do find it hard to understand the animal sacrifice and all that, and and why it was all done. It was done for atonement of sin. And we definitely, because we are humans, need that atonement and that forgiveness. And we thank you for that. We pray a blessing upon each and every one this night, and, or this day, or this morning. And we just thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye for now. Click, 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 click.